So guys, till now in this lecture we have discussed about reversible and irreversible processes. We found the expression of the work for reversible and irreversible processes. We solved some problems based on reversible and irreversible work. Now let's see what is internal energy. Now internal energy. Let me give you a brief idea about the internal energy. Actually it is a sum of the kinetic energy and the potential energy. But here the kinetic energy is sum of all the different kind of energy which are possessed by the molecules. Right? Means now we have to do the microscopic study. So let us suppose this is a molecule of a particular gas which is moving in a container. Right? Since it is moving that is why it will have translational energy. Right? So it will have translation energy. Will it vibrate? Yes, definitely it can vibrate. So it will move and it will vibrate also. So there are two types of energies. Translation energy and vibration energy. Will this molecule rotate? Yes, of course the molecule can rotate also. So translation energy, vibrational energy, rotational energy and the nucleus will attract the electrons of this molecule and the other molecules also. Right? So due to that the electronic attraction between the nucleus and outermost electrons, electronic energy is generated. Right? That is called electronic energy. So the definition of the internal energy is the various forms of energies which contribute towards the energy of the molecule are translational energy, rotational energy, vibrational energy, electronic energy, nuclear energy and the potential energy due to the interaction between the neighboring molecules. The neighboring molecules will also interact. So due to that the potential energy will generate. So the sum of all these energies is called internal energy. So what is internal energy? So internal energy that is equal to sum of these energies and this will be equal to E T that is translation energy plus rotational energy plus vibration energy plus electronic energy plus nuclear energy plus potential energy. So this is internal energy. Right? Now, it is also a form of energy and we already discussed that system and surrounding can exchange the energy by two ways, either by work or by heat. Now let us see how this internal energy is related to work and heat. So first of all, this energy is called internal energy or intrinsic energy of the substance represented by capital U. So it is represented by capital U. One more thing I want to tell you, we cannot determine the absolute value of the internal energy. Why? Because it is the sum of all the energies and let us suppose we have one mole of a gas. So there will be 6.023 into 10 to the 23 particles. So we have to find out the energy of each molecule and then we have to add. So that is practically impossible. Right? And the change in the internal energy can be determined with the help of first law of thermodynamics. Right? Now, well guys, this is the end of the lecture. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss more about the internal energy and the enthalpy change. Till then, goodbye.